Thank you very much, everybody. And a man who's highly respected and a great, formerly great athlete, at least. In my opinion, he's a great athlete. Johnny, please go ahead. Thanks. West End? Whoa, West End. I like that. You so could stand I stand. I stand. I stand. Uh, I wrote this bowl, dear President, ladies and gentlemen, just to remind everyone what the real priorities of life are, aren't they? For certainly billions of people all around the world. So, if I have a couple of minutes, um, you might wonder why the president of FIFA is introducing the president of the United States of America tonight. But actually, it's uh, not that far away. I've been told, President, uh, by somebody of your staff, I don't say who, uh, that today I am the second most important man in Davos. That's obviously not true. <laughs> you are all much more important, but it's nice to hear. On the other side, there are at least three main reasons why it is the right thing that the president of FIFA tonight is introducing the president of the United States. The first one is uh, the power of football, or soccer, as you call it in North America. Soccer is much more than a game. You all know it. It's uh, four billion people who watch the World Cup, the last World Cup. It's 1.2 billion people around the world who watch the last Women's World Cup, won by the United States. Congratulations for that. It is uh, 200 billion generated all over the world in a year. It is uh, one and a half million jobs created in Russia for the last World Cup in 2018. It's much more than that, though, because it is uh, more than just economy. It gives joy and it gives hope to millions and millions of people all over the world. And that's what we have to do. We have to give joy and hope. We have to give optimism. And this, that there is this good thing about football that when you win a game, you are in a good mood. Yeah. When you lose a game, you are in a bad mood, but just for a little while. Then you concentrate on the next game that you want to win. And that's the first reason. The second reason is uh, the United States and soccer. And I have to inform you that uh, the United States is on the verge of becoming the soccer power in the world. You don't know it yet, but it's coming faster than you think. We will organize the World Cup the FIFA World Cup in 2026 in North America, and President Trump has been in this venture from the very beginning. He wanted it to be organized together with Canada and Mexico in a prelude of uh, the great trade agreement that you just signed last week. So right. soccer is in advance of trade as well. And if, uh, I don't know, in Italy, 250,000 jobs are created with soccer. In Spain, 185,000 jobs. In the US, President, in a view of uh, the World Cup 2026, we have to create at least 1 million jobs for American citizens involved in soccer. Right. And the third reason, President, is uh, yourself. President Trump is definitely a sportsman. I am uh, lucky enough in my life to come across some of the most talented athletes in soccer. And uh, President Trump is made of the same sort of fiber. He is a competitor. He wants to compete. He wants to win. He wants to show who is uh, the best. He uh, says, actually, what many think but more importantly, he does than what he says. And uh, this brings, and you mentioned this morning, President, this brings the American dream to reality. Now, the American dream is something that not only Americans need to have. The American dream is something that we all need to have, all those who love soccer, the four billion people around the world. We all need to dream this dream. And uh, I'm sure that uh, with uh, your help, President, with your contribution and with the contribution of all of you here, we'll make sure that the American dream becomes reality, not only in America, as we have seen, but all over the world. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United yeah, States of America. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. So this is great, and we appreciate this. This is very beautiful. Good-looking ball. Good-looking music. <laughs> uh, it's an honor to be involved with bringing the World Cup to the United States. I was involved 
as president elected, even a little bit before that. But they called and they said, could you help? And uh, through yourself and your people, uh, you chose the United States. And we're also bringing some games to Mexico and bringing some games to Canada. And that'll be tremendous. But I really appreciate it. And I appreciate your uh, steadfast movement. You just didn't stop. You wanted to have it there, and I wanted to have it there. And we really did it before we came to office. Before I got into office, we did that one. But it's going to be very exciting. You know, we have the Olympics coming, which I was very involved in in 28. So between the World Cup and the Olympics, that's going to be very exciting. We have plenty of other good things. But uh, I want to thank you very much. You've been my great friend, and it's an honor. Thank you. Uh, around the table tonight, we have the greatest businessmen in the world, uh, names that I know very well, but faces that I know very well, usually from looking at business publications for many years. And I thought what we'd do is just quickly go around the room, and you could introduce yourself and the name of your company. These people, we keep them down to a minimum. We could have had hundreds and hundreds, but we kept it down to a minimum out of respect for you. But I thought you may go down and just introduce yourselves and uh, where you're from, a little bit about your company, or uh, if you want to say something, this is a great time to promote what you want to promote. And you have been <laughs> terrific. Congratulations. We'll start with you. Thank you.